What's good y'all? Mixtape Moth in the building. We're gonna do some mixtape talk today. So B Dot of Complex and Rap Radar Podcast has another list. Uh, this time it's the top 10 greatest mixtapes of all time. Now typically B Dot's list tend to enrage folks. Uh, some say that he's trolling with his list, but whatever the case may be, you know, people tend to really go in on B-Dot. Before I jump into this list, I have to highlight that this list does not include any 90s mixtapes. Uh, it's strictly mixtapes from 2000 onward. Uh, and this may not sit well with folks who vividly remember those classic mixtapes from the 90s, like your DJ Clues, your Doo-Wops, and Tony Touches. But that being said, let me just get right to this list. At number one, he has 50 Cent is the future. So I'm thinking right away, Great pick. Uh, this was a game changer, an essential mixtape, and one that really revolutionized the mixtape game and uh, that it helped to shift the, the focus of the mixtape from the DJ to the artist. At number two, he has Drake's So Far Gone. So yeah, this one was too high. And I honestly don't know if I'd include the mixtape um, if you only have 10 to pick from. At the same time, I do uh, understand that this has been regarded as a great mixtape by publications over the years, um, but I definitely wouldn't put it this high, probably towards the bottom. Number three, he has Jeezy's Trap or Die. Okay, this was a strong pick, definitely worthy of the number three spot. You know, Trap or Die is an iconic Gangsta Grills release, a uh, true classic and a catalyst in Southern hip hop and the subgenre of trap. Yeah, Trap or Die is a must have in a top 10 mixtape list. There's no dispute in that. For number four, B-Dot has Wiz Khalifa's Kush and Orange Juice. And I have to say I'm perfectly okay with that. You know, as Kush and Orange Juice is uh, by far Wiz's best work. And it's one of the standout mixtapes from that blog era. Number five, he has Lil Wayne's dedication to Wayne uh, most certainly needed to be on a top 10 mixtape list, uh, but I don't know if this would be the right mixtape. I'm thinking no ceilings or the drought three would have been better pick. For number six, he has Nipsey Hussle's Bullets Ain't Got No Names Volume 2. So Nipsey unquestionably played uh, an important role in the mixtape era, uh, but I would replace this with uh, Crenshaw. Crenshaw is arguably his best one next to Sloss and Boy 2. And, you know, with Crenshaw, Nipsey took his fan base to greater heights uh, after earning the attention uh, from Jay-Z. So I'd say that Crenshaw was a game changer in the way mixtapes were marketed. For number seven, B-Dot has Jay-Z's S. Doc Carter collection. And I had to laugh when I saw this because uh, no way should this be on a top 10 mixtape list. Like, it was cool, but nothing very impactful or memorable about it. I'm thinking of all the mixtapes, B-Dot. You chose this. I mean, I would most certainly put Joe Budden's Mood Music Series above this. And number eight, he has Dipset's Diplomats Volume 1. And it's undoubtedly a top 10 mixtape. You know, these Dipset mixtapes hosted by the late great K-Slay, R.I.P. K-Slay, uh, were just as important as the G-Unit ones in my opinion, as far as uh, reshaping the mixtape landscape in the 2000s. For number nine, he has Jada Kisses, The Champ is here. All right, so I really didn't have a problem with this, you know, as this was a dope collection of freestyles and newer songs from Kiss. That being said, I'm still not so certain that it's a top 10 mixtape. Lastly, in number 10 is Future's 56 Nights. So I understand why Future would have a spot on this list. I would just have to revisit those old mixtapes just to see if this was his best one, but let me know in the comment section. All right, so overall, I didn't think it was a bad list. You know, B-Dot has had worse ones for sure. I think some of the picks definitely made sense, uh, but now I'm gonna take a moment to mention uh, some mixtapes and artists that weren't included that one could make uh, compelling cases for. For starters, I mentioned Gucci. Uh, I'm not sure which Gucci mixtape would be included off the top of my head, uh, but Gucci was very famous for his mixtapes, more 
than his actual album. The same could be said for Fab. Uh, as Fabulous is one of the true mixtape kings, immediately his soul tape series comes to mind. What about the Clipses We Got It For Cheap series? Uh, I think a strong argument could be made for one of those. Also, ASAP Rocky's Live Love ASAP, which was another essential blog era tape, along with J. Cole's Friday Night Lights uh, and Big Crit's Return of Forever. Uh, these lists really need to have Big Crit. And Joey Badass' is 1999, even though I always kind of looked at that as more of an actual album. Can't forget Sai Hada Prince, uh, who had very underrated mixtape projects that were album worthy. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's challenging to uh, narrow it down to just 10 mixtapes, but the Jay-Z tape didn't belong, that's for sure, and uh, so far gone was too high. But let me know in the comment section your thoughts on B-Dot's picks and what your top 10 mixtape list would look like. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out. As always, it's peace and blessings. One.